hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here today is Monday and every Monday I show you what sold over the weekend we have almost fifteen hundred dollars going out on eBay today and we have some Facebook marketplace sales as well as our first Etsy sale so let's go ahead and take a look Alright, so keep in mind as I am showing you these sales, I have had my store open for two and a half years, listing 20 to 30 almost every day for two years. I have over 3,800 items. So if you're a new seller, I would not expect these kind of results. It takes quite a bit of time to build it up and get to this point, but with hard work, anybody can reach this level. And I am very, very confident in saying that. So up first, these are some vintage copper earrings. These are Gracia Regina Elizabeth II. These are copper. They are some older clip-on. I've had them for two years. So I bought a lot of copper jewelry off of shopgoodwill.com. I'm less than a dollar in and that pair sold for $14.90 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. So they're going to be about a $12 profit but they took a very very long time to sell. Next is this really cool brooch and I did label this steampunk because it has like the little keyhole. It has like all the little pieces which reminds me of the steampunk type. So this one here I've had about four months. I paid less than a dollar and it sold for $16.26 plus the buyer paid $4.70 in shipping. So this one is going to be about a $14 profit. I love selling brooches whenever I pick them up or look at lots of them. I always try to think in my head, how am I going to keyword this? So this one, for example, I have ladybug, I have steampunk, I have leaf, I have copper. There is also a little bee on there. And yeah, so all of the different words that go into it where people can find it when they are shopping. Next is a pendant. So this is an art glass pendant. I only paid $3 for this and this one sold for 15 in about two months plus the buyer paid shipping. So this one's going to be about a $10 profit. So this one I put art glass, purple, flower, necklace, pendant, and it sold pretty fast. All right, the next two items are two of the higher selling items. I did buy both of these off of a high bid auction. They have been listed less than a month. They both sold to the same buyer. So the first one is this one here, and this is a Tiffany. So I'm gonna show you here on the top here. It says Tiffany and it says 925 right there really hard to see on the camera I know but it also has Tiffany and Co engraved on the side there right there really hard to see but to the naked eye it's pretty easy to see so this one sold for $279 plus the buyer paid 10 and shipping and it sold in under two months so I paid about 60 for this. So this one is actually close to a $200 profit. So keep your eye out. The Swarovski crystal ornaments are also very, very valuable. This one did come with this Tiffany & Co signature bag and sold really, really fast. And then the buyer also bought this one. Now this one was not worth as much because the top is actually just like a gold plate. It does have the Tiffany and Co written on the bottom. Again, not sure if you can see it, but down there, this one was not sterling on the top. So that minute difference made this one sell for $150 less. This one sold for $139 plus the buyer paid 10 in shipping and this one came in this Tiffany box. So again, watch for Tiffany and Co. Watch for Swarovski star ornaments. Some of them are worth up to $1,000. I found my first Swarovski ornaments at a garage sale and I found five of them. So 
you never know where you're going to run across these things always be on the lookout so that second one is only about a 70 dollar profit but the two of them were in a lot with another one and i paid 150 for all three so our tiffany are almost all gone now i bought a total of i think eight and we have sold five of them so far up next is a hanky and i always tell you guys i really love them because i truly do i don't collect them or anything but i really just appreciate them this one does have stitching around the flowers this one i paid a dollar for this one sold for 15 dollars for the single i get asked all the time if i sell my hankies individual or lot it up the answer is i sell them individual this one sold in under a month for 15 plus a buyer paid 470 in shipping and this one is going to be about a 13 dollar profit now why is shipping so much i put all of my hankies at an eight ounce rate yes they are going to ship at a four ounce rate but that way the cost of the poly mailer i use to mail them is paid for by my buyer now i could put a handling fee but i just choose to bump it up to the next postal rate and that covers my shipping expenses up next is a pottery piece if you know me you know i love pottery i'm really happy this sold this is a really cool drip glaze little birdhouse it does have the hanger there it is studio pottery it's not a known potter just a really pretty piece i paid three dollars for this at the thrift store and it sold for 34.99 plus the buyer paid 11 in shipping so this one's going to be about a 28 dollar profit i personally love picking up studio pottery again always think of when you're picking up this stuff that you might not find the exact same thing think of how you're going to keyword it and describe it in order for buyers to find it next is another hanky this one is monogrammed with a c so do not think because they are monogrammed that they will not sell they will still sell this one with the c sold for eight dollars plus the buyer paid 470 in shipping and this one is going to be about a six dollar profit so i typically don't pick up monogrammed hankies individual but i will get them if they are in lots and i do list them because people will still buy monogrammed hankies i typically don't get as much for them because you have to have that exact right buyer but i have gotten up to 15 dollars each on personalized hankies Next, I'm gonna pop up here. This is a glove dryer. I got a pallet of these. I have a ton of them. They've been selling off and on since I got them. This one sold for $14.69, plus the buyer paid seven in shipping. The nice thing is they come off the pallet, they're in the box, and I just slap a label on them and they are ready to go. So if any of you live in northern climates where it's snowing and you might need to dry your gloves, check out my eBay store. Next is a bunch of camels. I'm going to show you some of the camels so there were a total of seven camels these camels actually sold in less than a week i got these camels in a brass lot i paid less than a dollar for them they sold in under a week for eleven dollars and 89 cents plus the buyer paid six in shipping so they are going to be about a ten dollar profit I did not want to sell individual camels. I probably could have, mind you, but I figured I would just lot them up and get rid of them all at the same time. So with the brass items, if I have like a lot of brass animals and they're smaller, I do tend to lot them up, but the bigger brass pieces, I tend to list individual. Then the first of my Disney items. So if you know, I spent about $3,000 on a Disney auction. I went and picked it up last week. I got everything listed within two days. There were only 21 items, which made my life a little bit easier. So this is the first one to sell. And this one is Department 56. I will show you there. And it has got Mickey and Minnie. And it's got Donald swinging like a crazy man. And it's got Goofy. So i will tell you somebody i had this listed at 209 dollars from my research on worth point as well as ebay i expected to get 200 dollars for it so somebody messaged me the day it was listed they offered me a hundred now there were also two little pieces 
that came with that that were separate and I did not have those but that comes with its original cord it does function properly it swings around I just didn't have the other two pieces so the only other one of those listed was at 275 they did have the pieces so I priced mine at 210 again by my research I expected to get about $200 so the day I listed it somebody sent me an offer of $100 and said come on do you think this is worth 225% of the original cost and you're missing two pieces when you come to your senses and we'll take $100 I will buy it so my response was there are currently two listed mine is listed $65 less than the other one I have already taken off for the two missing pieces I appreciate your offer but there have been seven sold there are only two listed have a great day so they wrote me back they were not rude about it and said hey when you decide that you'll take a hundred let me know well it sold less than an hour later and they sent me an offer for 150 I countered them at 200 they came at 170 I countered at 180 and they accepted so $20 less than I expected to get which I am okay with that I paid $50 for it this is well over a hundred dollar profit the first of the Disney pieces to sell and it goes to show don't listen to buyers who are going to give you every reason that you should lower your item if you have researched and you know that your item is worth more. Two listed, seven sold is 300% sell through rate. Absolutely amazing. A very, very popular item with not many available. And yeah, I was missing two pieces. That's why I didn't price mine at $275 like the other person did. And I got $180 less than an hour after somebody told me I should only be asking $100. Next is a scarf. So this is Emma Kale or Emma Kale, 100% cashmere really pretty just plain brown scarf so this one I paid about two dollars in an online auction lot it sold in about four months for thirty dollars plus the buyer paid six in shipping so this one's going to be about a twenty five dollar profit keep your eye out for scarves especially cashmere or silk if they are branded and I can pick them up for a dollar or two I will typically pick almost all of them up they're really easy to list they're super easy to ship and they don't take up much space when you're storing things either. Up next is this plain little ball. <laughs> Just a door hanging ball. It was in a Christmas lot of decorations I got. I listed it, sold for $7.33, plus the buyer paid five in shipping. I am pennies in, so that's gonna be about a $6 profit. Stuff like that, when I get it in lots, I decide to list it because I have it. So since I have it, I might as well list it up next this took about three months to sell this is a wedgwood heart and i put fairy angel you can see the center there and this one is marked wedgwood made in england i paid two dollars i bought out everything somebody had at the florida great yard sale in november this one's sold for 11.89 plus the buyer paid six in shipping so this one is going to be about an eight dollar profit and then this it's a really cool shell bolo tie so you can see the bolo part is actually leather and then there's this shell this is definitely vintage here's the ends so I paid less than a dollar for this it sold in less than two weeks for twenty dollars and ninety nine cents plus the buyer paid six in shipping so this is about a fifteen dollar profit keep your eye out for bolo ties because again another item that's really easy to list easy to store and easy to ship up next i have had these stamps for two years i bought a lot i was in the profit really fast these sold for a whole three dollars and 58 cents i'm just glad they're gone and i have the space so they're gonna be about a three dollar profit buyer paid five in shipping and they took forever next going out to amy over at edge city traders she got this cute these are anybody they're really really comfy little kangaroo pocket sweaters she got that one as well as this really cute shirt I'm trying to figure out how to hold it 
So this shirt is a floral with like a lace over it. So Amy got the two of these for $12.09 plus she paid $13 in shipping and I will make about $8 profit. So Amy, thank you so much for your purchase. I greatly appreciate it. Up next is Rocket Science DVD. I paid less than a dollar. This one sold for $5.59. Buyer paid $12 in shipping. This one is going international. So I sell quite a few DVDs international. Not sure why, but this one will be about a $3 profit. And then next, I've had this little guy for a long time. And he was one of my favorite things. He's been sitting on my display shelf the whole time since I found him. I did get him at an estate sale. He has this really cool pre-Columbian little figurine. He does have a crack, so he does have some defects. He is very old. Got him in an estate sale for $8 and he sold for $80. I'm so sad he's leaving. I'm sad he's leaving, but he took two years to sell. He sold for $80. We're going to make about a $65 profit and he is going to a new home. Next is this. It's just a square. It's a square. It could be a napkin, but it's really big to be a napkin. So I listed it as like a centerpiece for a table put sunflower it sold for three dollars and 86 cents plus the buyer paid shipping we paid less than 50 cents so it's going to be about a three dollar profit and then we have a longa burger basket so this is a sleigh basket unfortunately i didn't have the wrought iron that goes underneath it but i did have the liner and the protector i paid eight dollars this one sold for 27.99 Plus the buyer paid $8.55 in shipping. This one is gonna be about a $16 profit. If you had the wrought iron sleigh that went underneath it, whoa, it would sell for a lot more. This is Wedgwood, but you might not have seen this. This is a Wedgwood brooch. I did not even know these existed until my last time at Renninger's and the pink is seen less often. So keep your eye out for these. This one, is marked on the inside just like that plate is Wedgwood made in England and this one sold for $41.64. I paid I believe $10 for this at Renninger's so this one's going to be about a $28 profit. Then this is from my last Goodwill haul. I picked up this really pretty koi butterfly scrub top for $3.99 and it sold in less than two weeks for $15 plus the buyer paid five in shipping so it's going to be about a $10 profit. Koi is a great brand of scrubs so is Grey's Anatomy. That one had butterflies. It was hot pink. Again when I buy stuff I think of what I'm going to use as keywords to list it to buy, to, for people to find it when I put it up for sale. This is Tassimo. This is just some milk creamer. I paid a dollar for this. It sold for $12.73. Picked this up at my little local thrift store. It is a brand new sealed, never been open, and it is over a $10 profit. I actually picked up three of these. The other two are different kinds. That one is the first one to sell, and it did take about eight months. Next, this is Holland Cruises of America. And this is Delft Blue. It's a little bottle. I paid a dollar and this one sold for $10 plus the buyer paid eight in shipping. So this one's going to be about an $8 profit. I always pick up Delft Blue if I can find it for a dollar. Doesn't necessarily sell high, but it typically sells pretty fast. And then this giant thing. I feel like I've got like a turkey or something under here. This is a hair dryer, a really old hair dryer. I picked it up for $5 at a church sale. I've had it a year. I thought it would sell faster. I thought it would sell for more. It at least is not breakable. It sold for $21 plus the buyer paid $34 in shipping. It's big. It's heavy. It's going to be about a $12 profit. You know, we all make mistakes, including myself. As long as I don't lose money, I will accept it, take it as a lesson, and move on. I do want to stop and show you guys these. So my good friend Erica, who actually has been my friend, the longest of any of my friends, we've been friends since we were five years old in kindergarten. She has a sublimation machine. So she made me some things I am going to put over on my big cartel site for you guys to be able to purchase. She made me these really cool nurse flipper. They're plastic coasters. 
And then she also made me these really cool coffee mugs. So this one has got the dolphin jumping with the sunset. And here it says the secret to getting ahead is getting started. Mark Twain. So if you're interested in this motivational nurse flipper cup, there is this one. And there is this one with the palm tree. They do have my logo on them. Really small there. And this one says the same thing. The Mark Twain quote. These will be available over on my big cartel site. My friend Erica will make them and ship them to you. So it's supporting another small business. I'm happy to help my childhood friend. And then she also made this really cool jellyfish one. This one doesn't have a state statement or anything, but she just thought it was really cool and kind of went with my ocean theme. So there is the little jellyfish one. So go ahead and look on my big cartel site. If you can't find my big cartel site or any of the things I'm telling you about, like my American Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap, Worth Point, Amazon links where I get all my supplies, go to thenurseflipper.com and I have links to everything that I talk about. Next is this little swan. He is absolutely beautiful. This one I got for $3 at the thrift store. What does that say? That's just where they signed it. That's not a price. RC and CL made in Portugal and it sold for 15. So this guy's about a $10 profit. And then I sold this creamer and sugar. This is peach luster vintage fire King. It is marked fire King anchor Hawking. If you were to find it out and about paid less than a dollar, these two sold for nine 38 plus the buyer paid 12 in shipping because they are going to go at a two Right. And then we sold Bullworth, another movie sold for $5.59. We make about a $3 profit. And this copper bracelet, really cool etched design. This one I paid five. It sold for $17.84. So it's about a $10 profit. Did get that from an online auction. Then this little seagull pewter Christmas ornament sold for $13.99 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. I paid less than a dollar. That is going to be about a $12 profit. And then I'm going to show you what sold on the other platforms. First, this Roseville bowl. Really, really pretty. This one sold on Facebook for $26.10. My first Etsy sale. Thank you so much. It did go out to a viewer kind of cheating. Still don't have any other sales. Hopefully they will start coming. This is a beautiful sterling silver brooch and she got it for I believe $23. So thank you again for your purchase. And then I sold these three lots of yarn on Facebook for $11. And we sold hee haw on Facebook for $6. So we are getting some other platform sales. I also am going to have to ship out some stuff that I sold to you for my live haul. So it is going to be a busy shipping day. Coffees I'm gonna thank you for. And then I've been working on the photo room editing app and my video and it hasn't got done and I just haven't got it put together. So I think I'm gonna put a small tutorial following this. That way those of you who have been waiting for it can see how I use it. So coffees, Joe Childress bought me five coffees. Said eBay's store, Hetty's hat box, Moy Glue. You can't imagine how much I idolize you. I am a faithful watcher and subscriber. Joe, thank you so much. And then she said, I hang on your every word. I've been struggling to get my business into a visible range since becoming forcefully retired in 2019. And your videos have been a godsend every step of the way. I'm moving gradually upwards. Keep pushing, Joe. Keep pushing. You can do it. And I made bids on my first local auction today. That is really awesome. Ever increasing the value of my items and plunging my meager profits back into the business along the way. Your words of encouragement about persistence and patience always come at the perfect time and keep soldiering on. I adore Dalton. Thank you for all you do. May 2020. 
2020 to be a stellar year for us both. Joe, thank you so much and I know that you can do it and it sounds like you were on the right track, so congratulations. And I think Joe's the only one that sent me a coffee. If I missed your coffee, let me know. If you don't know, buy me a coffee is a way to tip your content creators for putting out free educational content just as a way to show things. And that link is also on thenurseflipper.com. I'm going to start directing everybody there because I put it all together in one spot, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow night, I will have my good friend Richard Otnip draw flips as a guest versus being in the chat where you are used to seeing him as well as Shane from Brick a Box and my co-host Julian who had a viral video hit over 300,000 views congrats Julian and he's like I think gonna pass me in sub soon he's over 15,000 I believe so Julian is like soaring He's soaring and I'm watching him and waving, but I'm very happy for him. So again, congrats on that video, Julian, and your subscribers and views. I will see you guys tomorrow live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Wednesday and Friday, we will have videos. I am headed to Reningers and Mount Dora, Florida, Florida on Friday to stay Friday through Sunday. So if you're going to Renninger's Friday, Saturday or Sunday in Mount Dora, Florida, let me know. I'll be glad to meet you and say hello. And hopefully I will find some good stuff and take you along with me. I hope you have a great week. Keep listening, keep pushing through. And let's go ahead and take a look at a few tips for photo room now. So when you open the photo room app, you will see batch mode. You will click on that and there you will select the photos. I do up to 50 photos at a time and then you just click start batch. So you will see here, I'm going to let it go through. It's two minutes to process almost 50 images. Now you'll see here with this plate, it completely erased way too much. So we are going to come back to that and I am going to show you how to fix it. And another one there, that photo. So I like to watch as it is editing these so I can kind of take a mental note on which ones I need to come back and edit once it is done. You cannot edit them while it is still in the process of removing the backgrounds but this still saves a ton of time. So there are a couple more that also didn't work, but that's okay. Now these are working great and you can see all of the stuff around this photo in my picture and it is now perfect. And my chair, I just simply took photos of it sitting in the shed and you can see it removes the carpet and everything around it. So it overall does an excellent job you just have to come and touch up like that chair there does have some carpet still showing through the middle so we are going to come back and we are going to fix those images that are not working properly though probably about 85 to 90 percent do work properly and I do not have to edit them which is the nice thing and I'm just showing you throughout the batch here so you can kind of get an idea of how many need to be fixed and how many do not need to be fixed. Now I do put my close-ups in with the editing and I probably shouldn't because you can see it does remove some of it when I know I actually want that whole photo. But in order to keep them in order for when I'm coming back and using them after the fact, I do leave them there. So there's another, the bottom of a plate and this plate that has some off-white also, as well as that black piece to one of my LED lights. Now, you're going to come in, you click the photo, and you'll click object, and then you can move it. So this one was off-center, so I am just simply touching it and moving it to the center, and then I hit back. Now, this one with the plate, you can see, has a piece of my light. So you're going to hit refine object and I just slid it up just a little bit there and whatever's blue it's leaving but what happened here is you can see some white areas so I pick the green paint brush and you don't have to fill it all in you just select some and it automatically fills it in and you'll now see that my leg of the light was gone now here I had to extend out I click on object 
and you can see up top here it doesn't have a lot of my plate so I just scribble in the general vicinity with the green paint brush and it will fill it all in with the blue and now it is how I want and I click that back arrow and you will see now do not click apply to all or it's going to apply whatever you did to that one photo to all in the batch so make sure you don't do that so here I'm just extending my item sometimes it will say it's an object sometimes it'll notice jewelry but up top here there was a little bit of gray so I'm just coloring that with the green and then I again you hit the back button and you'll see it refresh the photo there so you just go through get the ones that you need to edit click on the object and then you'll refine it and pick either the red paint brush to remove it or the green to add so here I'm just painting with the green paint brush and it pulls the whole area that anything green is in and then that one is now complete and we can keep on going now these with the pillows are all fine and again do not click apply to all that will mess your world up so here one of the legs is kind of cut off there on the left you see so I picked object and then I'm going to hit next and I want to add it to that leg so I pick the green paintbrush and I'm adding to the top because some of it was not there and then I'm also going to draw a green line down the leg because some of that leg was cut off and now you can see it's all in blue and we are good to hit back and you will see the updated photo and you're going to want to go through and edit everything that you need to here you can see some of the carpet is showing through the chair and so I'm going to pick my object and then you see all of the blue so I'm going to hit the red paintbrush here because I want to remove the carpet and you can zoom and turn which is what I did and then with the red paintbrush I just click a little line inside of there and now what it did here is it removed the carpet but it also removed my seat so I clicked the green paintbrush and painted back my seat and now the image is exactly how I want it again you do not try and save these until you are done editing the whole batch and do not click apply to all so we're scrolling here there is a tag that is actually attached to my photo so I you can just pinch to zoom and you want to put your object into a box so it knows now here I'm hitting the green paintbrush and what I'm gonna do is come up and I will draw green on those areas that I wanted in, and it is perfect now it does take a little bit of getting used to but you can see here and again as I watch going through I need to watch so I know okay I didn't just take a photo of a uh, tape measure I took a picture of the whole photo and then I'm just going over the areas that I want it to include and there you go it is automatically there now if you see any bits of white you might want to color over it with the green and there is my picture with the tape measure of my actual measurements again do not click apply to all now here's another one with the ruler that I need to include all of this and we will just expand our box here and it did include some of it but it didn't include on the left so we're going to just color on that with the green and you can see a little area of black so again if you see any little areas that aren't covered that should be you just want to go over it with the green paintbrush sometimes it's a little more annoying than others but you just want to add that and then I do want to use the red brush because the bottom right corner I don't want in and there is my measurement of my photo now here the one with the kachina doll it actually cut out the other leather but I was okay with kind of focusing on that and then here though that looks totally wrong so I'm just expanding my box and then I am hitting next and it got everything but that top left corner so just with the green paintbrush I draw a line and I did notice it lightened up in the top right 
So you want to color over that if it's a lighter blue as well because it's erasing some of it. And then I just drew two little red lines on the bottom portion. And then there we go. And that one is done. Now here on the plate, you can see it totally missed this one. So it says it's a person. It doesn't matter what it says it is. I just am expanding my box to make sure my plate is inside of it hit next and this one it automatically did I didn't have to do any drawing once I expanded where my plate was and this is another close-up that I am wanting all of it to be in the photo so this one it did it automatically as well and then at this point you're going to scroll to the bottom and click to export your batch to your gallery that is everything guys i hope you enjoyed it we will see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m eastern standard time bye guys